What's going on everybody? Michael Millerman here. I put out two videos today about Heidegger and it occurred to me that you may still be wondering who cares to a certain extent? Why is Heidegger important? What does it matter? Isn't it just somehow self-indulgent philosophizing? Self-indulgent philosophizing. So there's a lot we could say about that and I wanna just give you one type of answer. Here is millermanschool.com. That's what it is at the moment anyways. We'll see whether that changes. It's where I post my courses, get new perspectives on philosophy and politics beyond academia without sacrificing quality of instruction. Now, why I am on this page is because you scroll down the page, you see Leo Strauss, the eternal Plato and Mr. Martin Heidegger. Okay, December deals. After December, it's not gonna be relevant. Scroll down, down, down. Testimonials, yeah, a little Bronze Age pervert reference there. I hope nobody minds. Uh, least of all the man himself. Let's go further, further, further. And what you'll see as you go down the page, yes, it's long, yes, there's a lot, I know, is there's a, who is this for? Core thesis, background story. Oops, let's move that down. Continue, continue, continue. And I say here the three basic ideas of the school. Number one, that combining a Straussian and Heideggerian approach to philosophy is an effective way to access the spectrum of political philosophy and to break free from the ideological constraints that make seeing the big picture more difficult. So the first thesis is about using Heidegger combined with Strauss to get a proper introduction to the major authors, texts, and themes of the history of political philosophy, as well as the living issues of political philosophy. But that's not what I want to talk to you about. Uh, neither this, that online communities of study are replacing universities as the prime locations for exciting conversations about philosophy and politics. Rather, as far as the what is it good for of studying Heidegger, um, this is what I wanted to show you. So thesis number three, studying philosophy is good for CEOs and their employees. Okay, maybe. I wanted to make a case here that there's an upside and it's not just uh, self-indulgent abstract philosophizing. So in making my case here, I first mention things like this, that the skills developed by studying philosophy translate into concrete benefits for entrepreneurs and their employees, reading attentively, writing effectively, thinking flexibly, analyzing, too many adverbs, huh? Well, at any rate, training and logical thinking and all of that, fundamental questions, but even here you might say, okay, you don't need Heidegger to do that. You can take a class on business ethics or you can do a logic class that'll teach you to think, a writing class that'll teach you to write. Who cares, once again, about Heidegger in particular, in relationship to business or to money, let's say, or to practical affairs. Well, here we've now reached to the point of the page that I did want to talk to you about. So of particularly noteworthy application, oh, sorry, one particularly noteworthy application of philosophy to business comes from the surprising use of Heideggerian phenomenology and ontology in management consulting and coaching. Consider Vanto Group. Forbes magazine named Vanto Group one of America's best management consulting firms. Vanto Group uses a methodology informed by the philosophy of Martin Heidegger. Their approach of treating organizations as a linguistic system, a network of conversations, consistent with Heidegger's focus on discourse as a mode of being and being in time, which includes both speaking and listening. So for Heidegger, both speaking and listening are world disclosing, being disclosing. We disclose worlds in our speaking. We also disclose worlds in our listening. And on the basis of what Heidegger says about that, you can actually develop a methodology that allows you to facilitate big improvements in client metrics. So Vanto Group has done that. And their clients include Reebok, Lockheed Martin, NASA, Western Union, ExxonMobil, Apple, etc. In other words, they've had some big names work with them. And you see there are some benefits that they're... CEO, uh, excuse me, that one of their client CEOs has said. But what the example shows is that the philosophical approach Heidegger offers can be translated into an actionable program for management consulting. That's kind of what I want to convey here, that it's not just sitting around and thinking, being, being's own history, the first beginning of philosophy, another beginning of philosophy. Not that there's anything wrong with that. As you know, that's what I think is crucial and exciting in Heidegger. But at the same time, I wanted to show you that there is a way to put it into practice. So here's a guy named Werner Erhard, founder of Est and uh, 
later landmark training. And as you see, he wrote here, I'm a student of Heidegger. Heidegger had a new way of looking at it all. He had the problem of having to use the words from the old way of looking at it to try to create some access to his new way of looking at it. I have the same problem. I have to use the prevailing terminology from the prevailing explanations for performance to give us an opportunity to take a look at an alternative way of looking at performance. So this is from a presentation that Werner Erhard gave about using phenomenology and ontology to develop a new model of performance and not just a new model, but a new way of getting access, direct access to improved results or rather transformed results in performance. So I'm a student of Heidegger and at the same time, he's dealing with the question of performance and developing quite an impressive methodology for doing that. So my external case study to support thesis three has to do with phenomenology and ontology as a way to create leadership, the benefits of philosophical coursework. And if you go to the page, you can see the sources that I'm referring to. They're hyperlinked here. There's a Harvard Business School research paper by Michael C. Jensen and Werner Erhard on ontological and phenomenological leadership. You can read that paper, Creating Leaders in Ontological Phenomenological Model, as well as this paper called A New Paradigm of Individual Group and Organizational Performance. In both of these cases, you have the application of Heideggerian philosophical notions and methodologies that allow us to relate philosophical coursework to the outcomes typically associated with return on investment justification. All right, so we're thinking, what's the ROI? What's the return on investment of studying Heidegger? Is it just useless abstract philosophizing? The answer is that there is a case to be made for the quote unquote return on investment of studying Heidegger. If we consider the application of his methodology to such areas as performance and leadership training and coaching, for example. So I don't just assert that, I have here some evidence and argument and sources cited. Now the bottom line is that if we can, wear, if we can vary the worldview that we have, we can vary our frameworks and models and hence also the opportunity set of possible interventions, applications and practices for coaches and management consultants, managers and everybody else. The point here is that our, what occurs to us as a possible intervention application or practice is a function of our framework and models. Our framework and models are a function of our worldview. And therefore, if we can vary our worldview, we can see some new possible actions. And that's an argument in general for philosophical flexibility at the level of big picture thinking or worldviews. But it's also an argument more specifically for the usefulness of Heidegger's phenomenological and ontological inquiry in affecting change. All right, so we get through Heidegger the wherewithal to reveal to ourselves new possibilities for action. How? By operating at the level of alternatives to our prevailing worldview. All right, well, that's uh, that at any rate is the case that I develop here. And you may know from my other videos or if you follow my other social media activity that I am a big, how would you put it? Fan is the wrong word, but I've taken the courses offered by Landmark Worldwide, developed by Erhard, and I found them to be extremely valuable for my life, for my business, for my relationships, and it's applied Heideggerianism. I have a video on my channel called Applied Heideggerianism. You could look at that if you'd like. So do caution, let me caution you against thinking that Heidegger is just some useless, abstract, free-floating speculation. Not at all. And it doesn't just happen to be a set of interesting meditations on the history and future of philosophical life. So I just want to pull up uh, the big screen here. It is something that gives you direct, actionable access to a new way of looking at the world, a new way of being in the world that you can apply to your relationships, your family life, your business, in short, to whatever matters to you in and out of uh, business. So there you go. If you'd like to learn more about that, you can visit the homepage where I showed you that. Just look up some of the resources, follow some of the sources. And if you'd like to make a comment on the video, you can let me know what you think are the practical upsides to the study of philosophy, both from a business perspective and more broadly. 
All right, Michael Millerman, Millerman Talks. Nice to see you. See you in the next video.